Okay guys, so tonight working on the 2500 HD again. Uh, kind of fixing an issue that uh, I caused myself a little while back. I got the uh, inner liners out here. And what I'm doing is I'm regapping my spark plugs. If you guys watch that uh, video, I gapped my spark plugs to uh, 60 thousandths I believe. And it should have been, uh, I believe, 40 to 45 thousandths, the gap. So I'm fixing that. This is actually my last one. And uh, it's pretty easy to, to do this job. The hardest part is actually getting in there and uh, reaching it. But actually this lift kit has made it easier because there's, there's more gap here in the, in the wheel well. So it's easier to get in there. Just going in there from the, like I said, the wheel wells here, taking them out. Got a long extension. So it's not that hard of a job. While I'm in here, probably going to uh, crank down the, the header bolts again. Make sure that uh, nothing has loosened up. This side's got really no wiring so it's a lot easier to get to this side but I've already got this side done so we're gonna get that last spark plug in there I've got it already gapped so we'll get that in there okay so we got the last spark plug in and I switched over tightened all my header bolts and uh, some of them loosened up I could feel where they loosened up and headers are known for that they'll, they'll loosen up over time so you gotta check them but uh, everything's looking good uh, the headers seem to be holding up okay I don't see any broken welds it's kinda looking them over while I was tightening up tightening the bolts up and uh, everything looks good. Uh, they're turning what looks like to be a bluish color. I really don't care what color they turn. I just don't want them to rust. They could turn pink for all I care. Uh, but it looks like they're doing pretty good to me. I checked both sides. And uh, looking good for a cheap header. you guys didn't watch that install video, I did an install video on these. You can go check that out. But, uh, we're done. We're done for the night. Just, uh, doing some rework here. Because I didn't do my homework. I, uh, went off the label here on the air cleaner for the 60 thousands. Apparently GM changed that. And uh, I didn't know that so it pays to do your your homework when you before you do a job guys. Even on a spark plug job you know you gotta do a little bit of research. I guess you can ask the the guys at the auto parts store where you're buying the plugs what the recommended gap is I think. So that will, that should help you out. But uh, I really wasn't having any trouble with the truck, with the gap that I had. I, I did notice on cold starts it was struggling a little bit. I don't know if that has to do with the gap or not. We'll find out because we're going to get some cold weather again. So we'll find out if the, if the gap fixes that. It didn't, it didn't have that before, the headers and spark plugs. So... Maybe it was the gap. We'll find out. But anyway, guys, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Just some rework that shouldn't, shouldn't have had to do. But anyway, it's done. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.